Okay, this tutorial is all about uh, making some uh, features for a scientific illustration. I'll just show you. Uh, this was this was done last year, and this was one of my students who did this uh, poster in Corel Draw X3. They are engineering students, and uh, so they have this scientific poster. So Corel Draw is a really good one in doing uh, uh, scientific illustration. Okay, let's analyze the how the students uh, did the uh, the effects here. Okay, let's go to this effect here. Okay, the student made an arrow here and he made it transparent. So that's that's pretty neat, right? So let's I'm gonna copy this one. Actually, I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna I'm going to duplicate this whole thing. Okay, plus sign to duplicate. And I'll just move it over here. Okay. And I'll just delete the other stuff here. Okay. So basically, this one, uh, it is just a shape, an arrow shape, and uh, and a transparency f uh, effect was created. Okay. Uh, the as you notice the outline. Okay. Uh, if you're gonna know if there's an outline or not, looking at this property here. Okay, if you look down in the lower right corner, you would see that okay, it was uh, the fill that was used was 10% black, and then the white there was there's an outline, white hairline with white color. Okay, so that's the the outline uh, properties. Now I'm gonna delete this one and let's try to do that. So in doing a customized arrow, you go to your uh, go to your Bezier tool. I'm gonna just make arrow here, there, 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 and I'm gonna close it. Okay, I'm gonna put a fill, a white fill first, so that I can see how it looks like. Okay. So we just did a rough, you know, rough, uh, rough sketch of a of an arrow because we can customize that later. Okay, so to customize it, say for example, I want to move this. Um, this uh, you know this node here I'm going to go to my shape tool and it's also a good idea if I go to view I go to wireframe so in wireframe I can see the uh, the object that I created which is the arrow here okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna clean the arrow we're gonna make it nicer so I click on the arrow and if you notice here those are nodes okay I'm gonna move the node here I'm just gonna reshape it make it nicer okay and then I'll click on this line here okay and then right mouse click I make it curve to curve and then in curve I'm gonna have these arrows here so those are the direction of the node like I can I can adjust the shape by by pulling this arrow here okay so those are the ones now this up here I click on the line okay if you don't want to do right mouse click, you can go to this icon here that makes it convert line to curve. So if you convert the line to curve, then you can adjust the the curve of the line. Okay. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make this bigger. There. Okay. Then I'll go back to my view, enhance view to see it in color. Okay, so you can still reshape it. You can even reshape this one. Okay, say I'm happy with this one. Okay, you can reshape it by clicking on the, once it's a curved line, click on the line and click and drag it where you want to be. Want to, to have the line. Okay, say I'm happy with that one. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to, like I said, we check the fill later on it was like 5% black so I'm going to go to my fill tool here and go to this option here for fill color dialog and I'll make this 5% because that K is for black okay so I'll make that 5% black and then click OK there and then the outline was a hairline K 
Okay, go to my outline. Click on outline fan dialog. Okay, I'll make it a one point. And then I'll make this white. And then click OK. okay. It really doesn't show. Then I'll make it thicker then. Outline tool. I'll make it four points. There. Now you can see a little bit of white. Now the only thing we have to do now is go to your transparency tool. Okay. You click and drag. Okay. So you want it not really that transparent this side. So you just move the, the square. Yeah. And you can also move the slider if you want. Okay. And then we'll just zoom out. F3 to zoom out. There. Very nice. Then you can still change the, the shape. Okay, so that's pretty neat. Okay, so that's that's part one of the tutorial. Now let's go to to this part here. Okay, let's zoom in here. Okay. Okay, you see this technique here. Okay, it's a line, and then with a circle here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to delete that first. Then I'm going to show you how to do it. So you go to your Bezier tool again, same as the first one that we used. Okay, and then say I want to put my line here, click. And then the secret there to make a straight line, while you're doing that, you click on the first point, right? And then hold Control Shift down. Okay, hold on your Control Shift, the keyboard, and then go to the next point that you want there. You notice it's going to be 90 degrees angle. So I'm going to move it here. Hold Shift Control and that one. Okay. Now, in the properties, when you click on the Bezier tool, you always get these properties on top. Okay. This means to say here, okay, uh, you can change the arrow, make it the arrow. So this one is the beginning of the line. That we started we started from here right so we can make that arrow okay you can't see it because the line is too thin okay so what what i want to ask you to do is go to your outline tool and go to the first one outline pen dialog and then make this thicker i'll just make it four points and i'll make it red and click ok okay not quite going back here and i'll make it eight Click OK. There. That's good. See, going back to the properties of the line here, because this is the start arrow selector. Because I started from here, that's why the arrow starts from here, right? So I don't want the arrow there, so I'll just make it a normal one. And this one disappears. Now I want this to be circle. So this one is the option for the circle. Can you slide down here? and look for the circle okay this is the circle one and see notice that this one became circle okay another option here too is if you click on other if you click on other here you can adjust the size of the circle because notice it's too big it's not proportion then I can just click and drag it here make it smaller but then you have to click on center in X and center in Y so that it would go to the center of the line and then click OK. And notice here, the line, I mean the circle became smaller. Okay, now let's adjust this one too, this one here. Let's adjust that circle. So in adjusting that, you go to this dialog box and you click on other. And then you'll just make this smaller and then click on center X, center Y. And click OK. So that's it. That's a good effect, especially when you're doing scientific illustration. So we've done that and this one. I hope that helps.